Election day in Warner Robins is right around the corner and the post three council position is up for grabs. A teacher is going against the incumbent. I spoke with the candidates about what they want to bring to the international city. City Council in Warner Robins is getting ready for a big shakeup. Four seats are open, and in post three, two men want the job. One of incumbent they, Paul Sheely's goals is to work to grow the community. We've got a lot of good things going. We're not playing catch up anymore. We're moving forward, and I want to be there to help our citizens uh, move forward, help our town grow. And then there's the newcomer, Keith Lauritsen. The longtime educator says now is his time to make a difference in the city. There are a lot of things that are at the forefront right now that really need a lot of attention and I don't, I don't necessarily think they've received that kind of attention, not just by the post I'm running in, but, but you know, collectively as a city government. Both candidates agree city council and the mayor haven't always seen eye to eye and the government has to present a united front to the community. You can't go into something like this you know, demanding it your way all the time. You got to be able to work with folks. I'm a people person. I can work. I'm a team player. I can work with just about anybody. Uh, I make sure that information highway is forward and backwards. Sheely wants to make sure local penny tax dollars are used effectively. We still have parts of the older city, the infrastructure that need repairing. Those are some projects. Lauritsen says if he's elected, he's focusing on quality of life issues. I pledge to give it my 100 percent and, and to meet the needs of the citizens, to meet you know, what it is that they, that they vote for, that they want. Both candidates think Robbins Air Force Base is crucial for the city, but they want to also expand beyond the base and focus on infrastructure and community development.